Hey guys, let's talk about Sandy Lyle. Lyle was long and he was straight. And he's probably the least talked about multi-major winner of the last 40 years. I mean, he's just a, a wonderful golfer. Now check out this inside over the top golf swing. Unmistakable. I like this shot out of the rough. Check this out. He just takes it inside and up and he hacks it right out of this hay. It's a natural move to create power, this inside over the top move. So here's Sandy Lyle hitting a one iron. Let's watch this again because he hit this one iron all the time. It was the club that he relied on under pressure. He actually hit it on number 18 in the Masters and drove it into the bunker. That's a long one iron. In fact, in that Masters, he hit it very long on number 10, and I'll show that to you. But Sandy Lyle, he won the, the British Open in 1985, and then uh, he won the Masters in 1988. So here he is on number nine. Let's take a look at this inside takeaway. Just inside and up and swings out to the target. This is a great shot that rolled back to the hole. Now here we see him on number 10. And he draws the ball in there very nicely. He actually had trouble on number 11 and 12. He bogeyed 11 and doubled 12, hitting it in the water. Now here's this tremendous one iron, the 300 yard one iron that he hit on number 10. Granted, it's downhill. But you can see that he winds up to get his power. And that's the thing that I've learned about the over the top miracle swing is I just have much more power available to me. Let's watch this one iron one more time. So he stands nice and tall. See the deep takeaway to the inside. No teachers talk about this today, but you can see that that gets his left shoulder really under his chin, a lot like Ben Hogan. And then as he comes down over the top, keeps his head behind the ball, and just blasts it. A truly, truly great golf swing. Uh, he won six times on the PGA Tour, including at TPC, and another 18 European Tour wins. So the sucker pin gets another victim who finds a watery grave. <laughs> oh, it's got to hurt. But he hung in there. Birdies at 16 and 18 saved the day. It's another beautiful iron shot. So Sandy Lyle, you know, I just think that he's so cool. He kind of reminds me of a Luke Donald. You know, he's a Scottish player, comes from that tradition. But I just love this golf swing now that I, my eyes can see it. He just rips it around the Eisenhower tree. I don't know about anybody else, but I, I kind of miss the Eisenhower tree. <laughs> it used to be blocking the left side of the fairway on number 17. So Calcavecchia, he, he narrowly lost. But let's go ahead and dig into this swing here. I'm going to show you uh, Sandy Lyle's swing with a swing tracer. Inside, up, and over. That's a prodigious loop. That's like bigger than Sam Sneed even. But let's go frame by frame here. You'll see that he actually pushes the club away from him at the start. I find this to be curious. I also find that his... Let's go back to the very top. He starts very tall. This to me looks very much like Ben Hogan. His hands look like Ben Hogan. 
he's tall, so there's an initial push away, away from the ball. We can see that that club gets further away. And then he's going to draw it back to the inside here. It's like out and in his takeaway. But here we're going to watch the butt end of the handle start to work inside and up. Isn't that crazy? And we see the common half moon crescent from folks that take the club back really deep to the inside. The radius of the arm just makes that circle. But here's the big OTT move here. And we can see how loaded he is into the ground as he flexes those knees and, and hits down on the back of that ball. He's up high on that right foot. And he just pounds it long and true. So that's the great Sandy Lyle. As I mentioned, I think Sandy Lyle is one of the greatest golfers of the last 40 years. And I wish he got more credit. He was cool under pressure. He was long. He hit that one iron a mile like the man. And he had a dynamite short game, and, and when his putter was hot, boy, he was in the winner's circle quite a bit. But he has an inside, over-the-top miracle swing, and it served him well throughout his career. And I'd love to reach out to Sandy Lyle. What a, what a tremendous golfer and a member of the World Golf Hall of Fame. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Everyone's teaching the golf swing the wrong way. I saw Christo talking about the over-the-top swing at about the same time I was looking at old swings of uh, Bobby Jones and, and Sam Snead, and both of them take it way inside and loop it over. Bob, what's your lowest round of golf so far? Shot at 69. My entire program is discounted for this introductory offer, so take advantage of this opportunity right now.